Google Meet's whiteboard feature is terrible. That's why I'm starting this video in Zoom to show you how much easier it is. And no, Zoom didn't pay me to make this. I have just made a ton of videos about online learning during the pandemic, and I have tried both Zoom and Google Meet, and I want to give an objective comparison of the two drawing features for people who are doing online classes and need to do handwritten notes or shared collaborative drawing on a digital whiteboard. So, assumptions. You only have a single monitor available, and you need the simplest, quickest way to do drawing on your computer. For people with fancier home teaching setups with tablets, multiple monitors, or a two-in-one laptop and multiple, multiple machines, this gets a little more complicated. But for now, just assume you want the simplest, fastest way to start and share a drawing from within your meeting. So, to do that from within Zoom, you go down here to the Share Screen button, click that, click Whiteboard, click Share, and bam, you immediately have an editable collaborative whiteboard that is shared with everybody else in the meeting so they will see this on their screens. You also, if you're on a single monitor, get this little floating window with everybody else so you can still see the other people in the meeting. Other people by default, depending on your settings, can edit this as well. If you wanna turn that off, there will be a little thing up here where you can go to disable annotation for others. If you're worried about zoom bombing or people scribbling on your slides, there are also a handful of different tools that you would expect in a basic drawing program, like you can add text, you can draw different shapes, different line thicknesses, change colors, that sort of thing. If you would like to have the whiteboard take up the whole monitor, you can maximize this window, and if you want to, you can minimize this little one with the thumbnails, but note that this does still stay on top, so you can access it again easily if you would like to. Finally, you can save the whiteboard image as either a PNG or a PDF and then clear it to start a new drawing and then save that if you are going to have multiple slides. Cool, that was easy. How does it work in Google Meet? So I have switched over from Zoom to a Google Meet meeting here. To start drawing here, you are going to go down to what looks like the Squid Game button but is actually the Activities button. Then you are going to click Whiteboarding. Then you have some more clicking to do, start a new whiteboard. It's going to let you know that it will share a link with everybody in the meeting. You see this little thing down here that says it's creating jam. Then it opens a new browser window. So it doesn't open something integrated within your existing browser tab for the Google Meet. Again, it's going to open a separate window and a link to this document is shared with everybody else in the meeting. Here you will see that you again have basic drawing controls similar to what you get in Google Meet where you can draw, do text boxes, and that sort of thing. However, this is not by default shared to other people in the Google Meet window. So they are going to get a link to this. They can open it in a separate window on their computer, but it's not automatically shared all on one screen like Zoom. So for example, if I click back to Google Meet and I am on a single monitor, so say I need to go use the chat or do something else to control this meeting, that disappears. I now then need to go make sure I get that back on top. And if I wanna see both of these at once, I'm gonna to need to either resize my windows or again, I would need a second monitor, which I do have on the machine I'm recording, so I can drag this over to a second monitor. But if you're on a single monitor, that doesn't really help you. And for students taking an online class looking at handwritten notes, ideally you want them to be able to see you, and if it's a discussion-based class, see the other students as well. So that is gonna be kind of annoying for them to have two different windows open. Again, they would need to resize them. Ideally, you would just get everything all on one screen. So to actually present within the Google Meet tab, you need to hit this present to a meeting button, then click present tab to meeting, select the tab you wanna present, then click share, now it tells you that you are presenting this tab to this meeting. So if I go back over to my Google Meet tab here, I can now see that my jam is mirrored here within Google Meet, but I cannot draw on this one. It is just showing me the projection of my separate browser tab. So again, if I actually want to draw, I need to pull this one up on top of my Google Meet tab or have it in a separate browser window. So I guess in this case, I could kind of put it here and then this kind of lets me see the rest of the meeting. But again, if I click over to use the chat or something, that window is going to go behind and I can't draw on this one. So compared to Zoom, drawing on a single monitor here, I'd call this vastly inferior because it just doesn't give you everything on a single screen. So I've closed out my Jamboard and I'm going to start that again and count the number of clicks to compare to Zoom because in Zoom, I believe it was three clicks. I clicked share screen, I selected whiteboard, then I hit share, 
and then I had a whiteboard that was immediately shared with the rest of the meeting that I could draw on all on one screen. So here I need to go activities, that's one, whiteboarding, that's two, start new whiteboard, that's three, it's starting it, I have this thing open, I want to project that to the rest of the meeting, present to meeting, that's four, wait for that to load, present tab to meeting, five, click on this thing, six, click on this thing, seven, okay, seven clicks, so a little more than twice as many clicks, I am now finally presenting this thing to the meeting and I can draw. To me, that is just a much more arduous process when you really just quickly want to start something that you can share with everybody else in the meeting. The other thing I would call a bit of a downside or maybe just point of confusion here is that it's not entirely clear to me what exactly Google Jamboard is and how it's different from Google Slides. So we have some basic drawing tools and you can add new what they call frames, which again seem functionally identical to slides to me or where you can add new ones and flip back and forth between them. But some of the drawing tools are a limit, little more limited. For example, there is a much more limited number of shapes you can add compared to something like starting a new Google Slides presentation where, again, you're going to have basic drawing tools, you can add text boxes, but you get way more shapes like you would in a program similar to PowerPoint. So if you go to the Google Jamboard website, again, this is separate from Google Docs. Google is kind of infamous for confusingly branded and mixed up products. So Jamboard has its own URL. It's separate from Google Docs. You can go to this about Jamboard page up here and read some corporate techno babble about sharing and visualizing ideas and all that stuff. But again, it's really not clear to me how this is different from just making a shared Google slide presentation and drawing in that if that's what you would want to do. So that's what I would say the one potential advantage over Zoom is that this is an automatically saved cloud document. So the one big downside of the Zoom whiteboard is that as far as I know, you have to manually save each slide and then clear it and start drawing again. So if you do want to have a multi-page document, if you're doing a lot of handwritten notes for a big lecture and you want to be able to just add a bunch of slides and save it all at the end, then this is superior to Zoom, but I believe that entire process to set it up and have the different windows and the confusion over what exactly Google Jamboard is for somebody who's never used it before or signed up for it separately. It looks like it's something you can actually buy, whereas Google Drive is just free for everybody. That whole process is just kind of confusing. So overall, I'm going to call this a win for Zoom. If somebody has used Jamboard more extensively or has some comments about why I'm wrong and why this is better, please go ahead and argue about it in the comments, and I'm sure others will be happy to chime in. Thank you.